I mean, are you still are you still breathing or, or no? Yeah. Um, after when when the whole thing went down, I went over to go celebrate with my family. And I jumped up in the stands and I honestly had to like take a step back because I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Um, Seriously, like my heart was like beating so fast I couldn't breathe. Um, there was just so many emotions flying around. I mean, I've never felt anything like that, you know, for as long as I've been alive playing sports. Um, you know, to, to have a win like that in the big house and to celebrate like that, you know, be able to run over there and jump in the stands. I've never jumped in the stands anyways. But to be able to do that with your family and your parents, um, there's nothing like it. Last year, you probably remember Auburn, Alabama, the, the kick six. I mean, this play has to be if not better than that, is equal to that. Can, can you, what, was it, what was it like with the guys? I mean, were people literally losing their minds? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> me and Coach Salem, I ran up to him, and his headset was flying off. His shirt was, like, ripping off, and I was giving him a hug. He was, like, grabbing my face. It was just kind of all, I mean, it was all just so spontaneous. You know, everyone's just doing uh, whatever, you know, came to their mind. I mean, it's just all raw emotion. Um, you know, especially to have like a, a walk-off, you know, game and like that or a walk-off play to, to win, you know, against your rival in the big house um, when all, every single odd was against you. All odds were against us and, and we prevailed, so. Did you believe at any point that this game was over when, when you, they're getting ready to punt? Um, there was some doubt in my mind when they were getting ready to punt um, and it was a pretty sickening feeling and I looked over and I said to Trey, you know, how sick I felt and then that happened and then it's amazing how you can go from one, one low to, to one high in, in, in the snap of a finger. From your vantage point, where, where were you on the sideline when it all kind of happened? And did, did you hear noise or were you watching? Yeah, I, I was about 20, 15 to 20 yards ahead of the ball. Um, so I was watching. I saw him drop it. Then we started to get closer and he had kind of hesitated. And then all of a sudden the ball kind of popped loose and then Jalen had it. And I was, because I thought they were going to tackle him, I was like, okay, hopefully they can tackle him right now. We can run the field goal team on there. The ball, our clock would stop. We'd kick and win the game. Then he just kept running. And I was like, might as well just jump in the end zone. And he did. And then all of a sudden, everyone started rushing the field. And, and that was that. Connor, try to be honest with me if you can, as much politically as you can. All week long, the talk was Michigan and Harbaugh and them being back and all the momentum and blah, blah, blah. Do you feel your mm -hmm. team played to make a statement today as far as that Michigan State is still here and Michigan State is still a force to be reckoned with in the Big Ten? Most definitely. But, I mean, looking at the game, you know, I, I haven't even watched film. But, you know, partially on me, I mean, there's throws where I got to make, you know, obviously put in the catch radius where they can make a play on it. Um, I think there was plays that we left on the table, um, you know, the plays at the end with me taking a sack. You know, I, I'm upset at myself for not leading us down in the last, the last drive to win the game. You know, thank God that happened, you know, with Jalen scoring the touchdown. But um, I can already tell, I mean, we didn't play our best game on offense, that's for sure. You know, running the ball and passing. I mean, we could have been so much better, um, you know, blocking-wise, protection-wise, me making my reads, guys running. Um, and, I mean, we have Madre out. We got guys out. You know, Josiah's back from not playing for two weeks. Jack Conklin's back from not playing for two weeks. So um, we're still trying to get in the swing of things, starting to get a little bit better. But um, I can tell you right now, we did not play our best game on offense. What will you tell your grandkids about this game in 50 years? Miracle in Ann Arbor. Miracle in Ann Arbor. Connor Cook, congratulations on the win. There he is, the winning quarterback. He's now 30-3 and in his career at Michigan State.